In this tutorial, we're going to be performance profiling the universal image loading library using our grid gallery based on the recycle view. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. So in this tutorial, we're going to be testing out, profiling, testing the image, universal image loading library. So the first thing we're going to do is run trace view just to sort of see what's happening underneath and threads and how long methods take to get called inside those threads. So let's start the uh, trace view. So we need to start up Android Device Monitor. Now we'll go back to Android Studio and start up our application. Okay, application's now started. Select application. Now we're going to start method profiling. Select OK. Now, again, as with the other profiling tutorials, we're going to scroll the way to the bottom and back up. And let's head back up. Let's head back up. Things have frozen there a little bit. Okay, I did get a application is not responding. Do you want to wait? I actually haven't seen that on the other image loading, so that's an interesting thing to note. Okay, now it's stopped profiling. Okay, close this. Okay, so here we have the main thread here. Uh, interesting, note these gaps. Now again, these big gaps here are when I think nothing's happening, I do nothing. So if an application's not doing anything when you're scrolling, the user's probably going to stop and wait for it to do something. And so those those are those big gaps here. Not not so good really for user experience because just and at the very end I did get application is not responding. Do you want to close it as well? So not so good. Anyway, carrying on, we've we can see we've got three UI pools here. This will be where we're decoding the um, file streams there. So that's that's pretty standard, all, what we're seeing with all the image loading libraries. We've got the main UI thread up here. Um, interesting enough, it's not so easy for me to scroll down here. So we've got UI pool one. So we've got a number of threads running in a thread pool here, three threads. But down the bottom, and I can't, wait, wait. Okay, so this is interesting to note. We've got another thread pool of three threads running here. Again, decoding streams here. But if we go to the very bottom, we've got a third pull thread of four threads running here. Um, seems to be waiting on an object here. And then if you look just here, you've got the four threads running here. They don't actually seem to be doing anything. They're created, but there doesn't seem to be any methods called in the uh, third pull of threads. So that's interesting. And the, this pool of threads here. I'm just trying to see what method's being called here. Uh, decoding streams. Decoding streams. Okay. So do I, Okay, decoding streams. So all, all these threads here, even though they're running in a different pool, are basically doing the same job. They're loading files into the images here. And so one point to note here, we will compare these, there's some pretty big gaps, which is more a user interpretation of nothing's happening, he's, he's just waiting. So it's not really desired behavior. Anyway, let's move on to the next profiling test. And I'll select the memory tab. I do need to restart this application, so we want to see how much memory it's consuming at the start. Okay. 
Okay, starting out, um, the Universal Image Loader is consuming 16 megabytes of memory. Let's start scrolling and see the allocations. Uh, we're up to 42. Let's scroll back up to the top. And we are heading up to 45. Okay, so we're, Universal Image Loader is consuming 45. Let's trigger our garbage collection. And that drops down after a garbage collection is triggered to 31.5, yeah. One thing to note, I didn't see that many garbage collections running here. So that's, that's a good thing, but it could be due to a nice large cache. Generally, if you've got a larger cache, you're going to see less garbage collections, which will uh, stop the, um, which will uh, um, improve the performance of the application. Okay, let's move on to the next test now. I'm going to start recording my display. And go on to device settings. Scroll on down to the bottom, developer options. Scroll on down to the bottom, go to the monitoring section. We want to turn on profile, GPU rendering, on screen as bars. Now let's go to the application again. Okay, now let's start scrolling here. Remember, we've got the horizontal green line, 16 milliseconds. Any frames that take longer than that means you're going to get sort of get a stuttering in the application. You're not putting out as many frames uh, as you need to. So let's start scrolling. Okay, so the universal image load is doing okay. It's very few frames are passing over that 16 millisecond mark. Let's scroll down once more and scroll back up. Notice we are seeing what I believe potentially are concurrency issues. So that's something that we didn't see with the other image loading libraries. Okay, but other than that, um, it's rendering its frames um, uh, very efficiently. But we did see the big pause in the UI threads here as well. So potentially it might not be loading those images as quickly as other image loaders. There could be certain trade-offs here. Okay, let me close that. Okay, so that's the profiling of the using the universal image loader on our grid gallery. Okay, so um, following on from that, I'm going to compare the results of these tests and then put out my opinion of the findings I've found. Remember, it's just an opinion. Everyone's got one. Anyway, if you like my tutorials and you haven't already, click on that subscribe button down below. And if you're interested in my social media accounts, I've got Twitter, Facebook, all the standard main ones as well. So you can follow or like. Um, yeah, please visit those sites if you're keen on doing that sort of thing as well. That's all for this one. Bye for now.